I started training 16 years ago under Coach Kavanagh. I was one of the first MMA fighters to kind of fight, you know, on the European scene. And I was kind of the one guy before Connor came. I retired f from fighting in about five years ago and, and became a coach, a full-time coach. So walk offense, okay, okay, and walk some defense. My relationship with Connor is, before anything else, I'm his, I'm his good friend, I'm his brother, like. I was a long-time sparring partner. Straight punches. Took many, many bangs off him, and now I'm a coach. It's been a long road, but a very, very enjoyable road. Jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, wherever you want, okay? Just long straights, bring your feet with you. Yeah, let's go. I think I'm, I'm good at reading people. I think I'm good at seeing what, what shots they like. I don't really like to try and change people. You know, old school striking coaches would go in and they would like you to do certain things a certain way. But, you know, everybody moves a little bit different. Everybody has a different personality. And that's going to dictate what type of fighter they become, you know. So it's about seeing the way your, your guy moves and then trying to help them develop their style and, and, and give them the shots that will work for them, you know. So that's why I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm wow. most good at. Single, opposite single, double, finish. Okay, guys that are attacking, single, double, back, single, double, back, yeah? All right, two minute rounds, let's go. Clap on three, one, two, three. Let's go. Single. Double. Finish. It's kind of a back and forth with me and Connor. I do all the pad work with him, and then we, we discuss shots that we think are, are, are going to work on, on various opponents. We, we isolate them, inspire them, we make sure we, we land them. And if they walk, we keep them. If they don't walk, we throw them away. Uh, we've been doing that for many, many years now, and you know it's done all right for us, for the most part. Over the years, kind of first started and he, he fought strictly like a boxer, so he, he would eat cakes and stuff. And over the years, he's, he's developed an all-round striking game. It's not nice being hit by him. There's just something different about his shots. Even a light job, it's heavy. It's, it's like being hit with a brick in the face. Like Every spar takes something from you when you spar with Connor, you know? We kind of always come up with the with game plans very similar way. We all, we all discuss it. And we're back and forth with each other, everybody gives their opinions. We put stuff into practice, and what works stays, and what, what doesn't work, we get rid of. That's the way it's always been. It's not just one guy's game plan. John will say, but look, when he's here, he's open, and John will be like, sometimes when I throw this shot, I feel exposed. So it's a team effort, it's always been a team effort, and I think that's why it works. Go, 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 come on, keep it going. I like getting the feedback, like, when Connor goes into camp, we all go into camp, and if he's obsessing about shots, then I have to be obsessing about shots. So I'm at home watching video. I'm, I'm, I'm reviewing stuff as well. John is doing the same. We, we all put in the exact same amount of effort as he puts in. Otherwise, it won't work, you know? He's an unbelievable athlete and an unbelievable fighter. He's got so many different qualities that make him who he is. He's very obsessive with what he does. He, his attention to detail is above anyone I know. Like, he, he's never happy with, with any performance. I want to go to like a north tail position. Here. That's going to break the grip as well. Bridge up and then turn back in. He's always looking to improve. He walks, walks very hard. And that's, obviously, that's why he is where he is. There's not many people like that. And he puts it all out there. He says it, like, you know what I mean? I would be afraid to say I'm going to do this or that to somebody just in case it didn't happen. But if you're brave enough to say it and, and, and go out and do that, and I think that's why he is as successful as he is now, you know? My hopes are that when Connor gets back in, that we get back into camp, we get a good, exciting opponent. Wherever it is in, whether it's boxing, whether it's mixed martial arts, we get a good run up to it and we get in and, and enjoy the madness again, you know. Every McGregor fight is an unbelievable fight. It's an unbelievable journey to go on and I, I'm always just happy to be part of them.